the internet, we discovered a handheld milking machine. We thought about ordering it, but my brothers really wanted to make one. The guys started by finding parts at the local hardware store to make an airtight system. A mason jar, oil funnels, two rubber gaskets with a built-in groove, six feet of quarter-inch food-grade vinyl tubing, and a plastic tee. We'll hook into the lid. On either side, there'll be two of them. And we'll hook onto the jar. And then one end we'll be sucking, and the other end we'll be putting in milk. For a vacuum, the guys decide on an air mattress pump. Garen starts by cutting a 12-inch section of tubing for one side of the milk line. The T allows for two lines. A heat gun is used to soften the end of the tubing. He then stretches it over the funnel for an airtight fit. He cuts both sides of the milk lines into equal lengths and attaches them to the plastic T fitting. A two foot section of the hose connects the T to the jar. Garen uses his fancy pocket knife to cut the top of the funnel and hopefully not his fingers. Then he cleans and smooths the edges using the heat gun. He drills a couple holes in the lid, but you don't want to see how he did it, so we'll just move on. The rubber gaskets are inserted. The groove makes for a snug fit, and the tubing slides into place. The lid is screwed on for an airtight connection. The small pump is tested. It appears to have enough power. It connects to the jar using the last two foot of tubing. The guys now have a milking system ready to test. But will it actually work? As well as it did on Bryson's cheeks, it just didn't have enough suction power needed to milk our goat. And that kind of sucks. Bryson quickly comes up with a new idea to convert our old vacuum into an elaborate milking machine. It vacuums up through this hose, which goes into this jar. This end hooks up to the goat, and it pours the milk into this jar. Equipped with better sucking power, we test it again. It sort of works, but it's not producing the section needed. We are stumped! So, we set the project aside for a few months. Then, we get a breakthrough. Bryson finds this handheld vacuum sealer at a grad cell for a buck. This is a Reynolds vacuum cleaner for, uh, uh, for bags to store food and stuff. Refrigerators, we're gonna use this. We're gonna set to this jar and... Unlike our previous vacuums that work off of a fan, this one uses a piston. Success! The off and on button allows us to start and stop depending on the flow. Me and Shay prefer to milk the goats the good old fashioned way. But this provides the ability for mom and dad to milk the goats when we're not there to do it. Please subscribe. For more information, you can click the website link below. Two rubber caskets with built in groove. <laughs> It's gasket. Okay, did I say casket? <laughs> yeah. I was also I was also gonna say oil funerals. <laughs>